Oh my gosh, whoa! Whoa! Look at this. Ah! Jellyfish! What's up everyone? Today we are going to do some animal rescues. We're gonna go to the beach, look for some jellyfish to save, and finish up with some shrimp parasite removals. Let's go. Yeah. Got some seal! Got some seal! Ah! Jellyfish! Whoa! Whoa! Man, look at this, guys. Look how big this jellyfish is. This is a moon jellyfish. Look, if we lift up the flap here, you can see the underside of him. This guy is humongous. A big jelly blob. Wow! That is so crazy. I'm gonna plop him onto my hand and take him back to the water. Oh, this is a big jelly. All right, guys. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Back to the water! Here we go! We gotta give him a gentle Ooh. yeet! <laughs> Alright, let's go! Let's go find some more! Yeah, it's a big moon jellyfish. It may or may not have been alive, but regardless of if it was alive or not, it's back in the water. Now if there's a hungry sea turtle somewhere out there, it's gonna have a nice snack. Let's go see if we can find some more. I think I see another one, guys. Let's go check it out. Look how big he is, guys. He's huge. This is a jumbo jelly. This is a jumbo jelly. You can see his organs through his, through his membrane here. I'm gonna lift it up and show you guys the inside. Look at this. Wow. All right, let's go put this big jumbo jelly back in the water. Oh, oh yeah. All right, this jumbo jellyfish is going back. Let's go. It's like surfing. You gotta wait for the perfect wave. A nice, big, deep wave we can yeet it back into. We're gonna throw it into this wave coming up. This wave coming up. Here we go. All right, this jellyfish's name is Ellie. Goodbye, Ellie. Yeet. Let's go. Woo! High five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta feed the turtles. Check this out guys, inside of here. You can see when you close it up, like you can see the rivets right here. So when you see a, a rock that's pretty flat with rivets on the side, if you sit it on its side and gently tap it open, you'll be able to see the scallop inside. You don't find them too often, but they're pretty cool once you find them. Yo, check this out guys. Ugh. This is actually just a, a chunk of jellyfish. What we can do with this is uh, try to eat it as far as we can out there, and maybe there's a starving turtle that will get lunch. Let's go. He's out there. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the animal rescue videos, make sure you cop the merch. Link is in the bio. It's limited edition. If you don't get it before the end of March, you're gonna miss out. This is the best merch in the world. Sorry, Jake Paul. Sorry, Logan Paul. You guys lose. Shrimp Squad wins. Cop the merch, guys. Checking these sand crabs, making seeing if there's any living ones. Oh, we got one! Look at him, guys. Look at this little mole crab. So sweet. Come here, little fella. Come on, little fella. All right, let's go bring him back to the water line. These little guys burrow under the sand, and there's literally millions of them out there, like right underneath of your feet when you go to the beach. Let's go set this one free. Here we go, this is a good spot. If we put him in the puddle, he should burrow right down. Go on, little buddy. Go on down. There he goes. These guys come in and out of the sand whenever the waves come up, and sometimes they get trapped in the water line. They usually lay there upside down until they die or dry out or a bird eats them. But if you pick them up when they're still alive, bring them back to the wet sand, set them free there, they go right down. I always like picking those guys up and setting them free. Let's go see what else we can find. All right, here's another one, guys. These poor little things just get caught in the mud. And the cool thing about these little mole crabs is they don't have pinchers and they don't have teeth. Um, they have these tiny little pokey things on the back, but other than that, they're not dangerous at all. So let's go put this one back in the water too. I'm gonna make like a soft spot in the sand. Oh look, here's another one. <laughs> there he goes. All right, I made a soft spot in the sand here for this one to call down. 
All right, little crabby, I hope you have a good rest of your day. There you go. All right, it looks like we saved all of the jellyfish and crabs on this beach. Let's go back to the bay and see if any shrimps have parasites that we can remove. Let's go. All right, this is Susie the shrimp. She does not want to be here right now, but we need to get this parasite removed before we put her back. It's not a very big parasite right now. It's very small, but this thing it's gonna be half the size of Susie someday. And it looks like the male is still in there. So we're gonna set the female right there. Can you see that male squirming around in there? Kinda of hard to see, but get it out of there. Hold still, Susie. There we go. We've got the male. He just rolls up in a ball just like those little pill bugs you see. They're pill bugs and these little parasites are related. You can tell they just kind of look like little albino ones. All right, Susie looks uh, happy now, so we're gonna give her some pets, and we're gonna go set her free, find another shrimp, and remove the parasite. Let's go. Let's try to find the hole Susie came from. All right, yeah, here we go. Go on home, Susie. Go tell your friends. We've got a big old chunky shrimp. This is one chunky parasite. We're about to get it removed. Let's do it. This shrimp's name is Sarah, and she has a huge parasite on her. Look at that thing bulging. Let's get it out. Oh, and she has a parasitic clam. This clam is just gonna stay on her and grow, so we're gonna get it removed. All right, we're gonna get this removed. There we go. All right, let's get this parasite out. Come on. Look at that thing. Huge. Huge. Ugh. Gross. Here's our gills. We're gonna cover them back up with the gill flap. Alright, you're a good little shrimpy. I'm gonna set you free. High five, shrimpy. Oh, really quick, before we pull up more shrimp, we need to go find those parasites that we removed and put them in our little compost container. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on. So far, this is what we got. Two female parasites, two male parasites. This male parasite looked like he was just doing some crunches. And this one's doing the upwards dog. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> good with yoga. Oh, he's biting me! Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> These parasites can't bite, or at least I don't think they can. All right, we're gonna put these parasites in our little mini compost, and then we're gonna go find some more shrimp to rescue. Let's go. Yeah, that one didn't. Oh. But this one. Don't you worry, little shrimpy. We're gonna get this parasite removed. Gently lift the gill flap. There it is, right under there. The male right on top, you see that? Little white thing on top? Yeah. That's the male. All right, Flora, we're gonna set you free. I hope that wasn't too scary. Let's go. See the eggs? Yeah, oh my gosh, whoa! Whoa! What is this? Do you see that? Yeah, what is that? Dude! Let's bring this over. Come on, bring it over here. There it is. Look at this. You see that? That just crawled out of the mama shrimp. This looks like an Alita Virens sandworm that was literally just invading this mother shrimp's cargo, aka eggs. 
Let's go, let's go free her real quick. We'll come back and check on the worm, see if he's crawling out. This is Macy. She's pregnant. Congratulations, Macy. Um, we're gonna go put you back in the water so your eggs can hatch. Bye. All right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this animal rescue video, be sure to smash that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing for more ocean content. It's free and you can always change your mind later. We'll see you on the next video.